any act of terror anywhere in the world, Russia included, is unacceptable and must never be a way to make a point. Whatever and whoever is involved, it is a wrong way of dealing with situations. Acts of terror are not uh, acts that should make anyone feel proud that they've made a point. You have made no point except to say, what kind of person are you? Let's come here in South Africa. When you look at what's happening in the liberation organization, the ANC currently, ahead of elections, you now have uh, MK and a high-profile former leader of the ANC, who is still a member of the ANC, campaigning for another party. As someone who did work with the former president uh, and also the former president of the ANC, and you were there as the chairperson. Well, to put it mildly, one is never uh, having the right words to express the level of disappointment and shock that someone can consider themselves a leader of no less than the African National Congress, an organization that is more than a centenary old, and more than a century old. And today you are campaigning against it. Of course you can't be a member of the ANC and campaign against it. That's a contradiction in terms. So I want to say that he has defined himself as not subscribing to the values of what led us to struggle. It's a disappointment for those that worked with him, that thought we knew him. But of course he has now defined himself differently. We can only be sad, but we want South Africans not to be confused by taking the name of as honorable a part of the struggle as Umkondo Sizwe and using it for nefarious reason and purposes. I think South Africans must just be very sober in analyzing what this means and who this person is and what he represents. On the other issue, you have the current speaker of the National Assembly uh, on leave and others are questioning the process that was followed for her to take leave. You are a former speaker and very close to Menno where You are friends. What's your view? How should this matter be handled by Parliament but also by your organization, the ANC? On this one, I would like to speak as a friend and as a comrade because Nosivu and I met in the struggle in the African National Congress, in particular in the ANC Women's Section and later Women's League. Nosivu's integrity is intact and South Africa will get to know that. What is very sad, which is expressing itself is how people that work in sectors that are very critical in society comply with and cooperate with agendas that you can only regard as you know people who have lost sense who have lost their ability to think straight now, I'm saying the sad thing, though, that is being proved as one watches what's going on is how people who work in sectors like the one you work in also lend their skills to pursuing agendas that can only be described as despicable and dirty. That's all I, I want to say. Uh, Yesterday, what relieved me after hearing the news, because I had last seen her 
the evening of the day when her house had been raided. And I was satisfied that she was solid, she was calm, she was not scared, she was not going anywhere. And I thought she was going to be leaving on Thursday to lead a delegation to IPU. Because the IPU is a very important forum for parliaments of the world. And uh, she has played a critical role at the IPU, in particular in the campaigning for the first African woman to be the president of the IPU, an international body of all parliaments of the world. So she's done a very good job there, as she did a good job in defense when it came to raising the issues of women that were arising in the sector of defense. Now I get to hear that, no, she had to reconsider the traveling because among things that were being said by those that are handling those matters was that because she was going to be traveling abroad, she was a flight risk. So she's here. They now have to go there and say what their case is. What are their charges? They raided her house. They violated her privacy. And she allowed them to do that in calmness and in dignity. And I just think they should be ashamed of themselves. All but of them. What do you say to people who are saying there must be accountability irrespective of be, your standing in the there community? Must be accountability for what? You must say what it is that you want a person to account for. So, sure, there must be accountability indeed, but come and say what is it that you are looking for on the basis of what?